Hello and welcome to Station 59 Middlemore. My name's Steve Crabb. This is just a brief introduction and a video to overview and see what our new capabilities are with Victor 59 Romeo 1 RHRV. This is available on demand or on request through the Incident Commander and also on PDAs to vehicle incidents involving three or more cars, large goods vehicles, road and rail incidents and persons trapped in machinery. Um, in the video, you'll see me go through the lockers and you'll also see the equipment we have above and beyond the normal frontline appliances. Okay, some of the extra equipment that we do carry on Victor 5.9 Romeo 1 are a longboard, which is above and beyond the normal um, vehicles on the front line. We have a lot more extra stabilisation blocks for multi-vehicle accidents so I mean it is quickly to run out of blocks at the job and with this you have got extra if need be. A standard Weber combi generator and 20 metres and 15 metres of hose and a trauma kit. Okay, now for the real meat on Victor 59 Romeo 1. Weber heavy duty spreaders, the spreading force of 43 tonnes and a reach of 810 millimetres. Weber heavy duty ram, which is a 1.5 metre ram with a spreading force or a pushing force of 27 tonnes. Also, we have a smaller version of that one, a 9 tonne ram capable of 775 millimetre push. Also, for incidents maybe indoors or somewhere where space and noise needs to be kept at a premium, we have an E-Force hydraulic cutting tool. But the main cutters, which run with the Weber heavy duty equipment, are these RSX cutters, and they have a cutting force of 107 tonnes. Also, we carry two extra seal protectors for use at RTCs. Okay, and on the centre near side locker, we have four basic standard aqua props, quite a bit of timber for helping shore up, say, lintels that have been destroyed in buildings and things like that that need, or maybe a vehicle has gone through. Underneath here, we have a LGV platform for working at height with hydraulic rescue gear. I'll show you this in a second. Okay, the final locker on this side. The top two lockers basically contain our PPE. Below, we have a lot of webbing strapping and ratchet straps, ideal for multiple vehicle RTCs where you need to stabilise by ratcheting vehicles together. Also, we have an LGV cab stabilisation system in here which utilises ratchet straps around the cab and onto the wheels of the vehicle, forming a stable base to work on. Okay, on the off side of Victor 59 Romeo 1, we have a selection of seven in total high and low pressure airbags. The biggest to the maximum lift being 74 tonnes. Extra BA cylinders to cope with the demands of that. This locker, we have a scoop stretcher. Quite handy for quickly moving people if need be with possible spinal injuries and a selection of a large amount of box lamps, high deal for quickly illuminating a scene. Go jacks for moving vehicles if necessary, um, chains, snatch blocks and um, shackles. This locker is a reverse of the one I showed you earlier, the aqua props and the so scaffold for our LGVs. 
In here, it's just normal standard tools that you'll find on most appliances, apart from a concrete breaker, and also we have ground anchors at the back. Okay, having shown you the stowage on the machine itself, I've showed you some of the things now as they are when they're operational. This is a platform, as you can see, gives great reach and height to whatever we may be working on at the time. But also, these things below are railway bogies. This thing can be doubled up, turned over, and used on railway lines for the carriage of equipment up and down the tracks to remoter areas. This is the lighting I was talking about earlier. Obviously, it's got high-reach tripods, which can pick up quite a bit of light onto the scene. This gazebo, very useful for inclement weather, over the top of a vehicle, so maybe to protect the scene and to protect the people working on the scene. Also, extra heavy-duty XL Stabfast, which is ideal for um, shoring up vehicles such as coaches and LGVs. This is all the cutting gear we went through earlier. Over here, we have the selection of airbags, which are all deployed at the, as you would see them at a job if needed. It shows you the height they can reach and the various sizes we have available to you. 